Students Loan Scheme is a facility uh, brought by our president, approved by our president through this act. And uh, in order to facilitate students' education in Nigeria uh, at the university level, College of Education and Polytechnics. In other words, in public institutions, it's not tenable for students at the private institutions. And uh, you also remember that this is also complementing uh, a major policy decision in this country whereby tuition is uh, free. So students in uh, tertiary institutions don't pay uh, fees. And uh, essentially what students pay usually is uh, uh, living expenses, such as hostel accommodation and maintenance costs in the institutions. But even at that, a lot of students from poor families struggle to pay those, uh, those charges. So in line with his Courts to ensure, in line with his decision to ensure that no student in Nigeria fails to attend school, the president uh, brought this policy and got it passed very rapidly in the National Assembly. And the main feature to note is that uh, it's a facility that is the amount there is 500,000 for each student every year uh, to pay for their services. And then uh, it is without interest. And then uh, now the process for, there's no guarantor, there's no uh, requirement of family income. Under the old law, uh, there was some form of needs assessment that has been taken away under the new law. And then uh, there's a, and then the, there's a whole agency set up to manage it and is repairable when students finish their education at NYAC, you know, two years after the education, after the NYAC, uh, when uh, they would have secured a job. And then uh, in terms of the repayment, employers have a role they are supposed to provide information on new recruits to ensure those who are employed and have benefited you know are made to uh, to pay for uh, the loan they acquired and uh, so basically these are the services and then now it's also expanded to include not only those in uh, those formal institutions for admission but actually the students who are in and skills are positioned in institutions which are approved by the government. And this is a very huge step because the decision of the president is that uh, his thought, very sound for that matter, is that uh, uh, this is not everybody must go to the University of Portland College of Education. There are uh, many training centers that are where students go to Nigeria, young Nigerians go there for skills a position and uh, of course they are asked to pay some make some payments you know for their training and uh, so those students are now empowered to access whatever amount of money within that ceiling to be able to sponsor themselves within uh, uh, those uh, training framework and so it's, it's a, an extremely revolutionary step by the president which will uh, go a long way to support uh, poor families you know to for the education of their wards and, uh, and children and you remember also this is also complementing another major policy of the government of uh, president Bola and the Tinubu where uh, the social uh, scheme was introduced of recent and uh, that also includes uh, those who are, are serving you know poor Nigerians entitled to a certain amount of money, including those who are even uh, in the NYAC. And uh, so you can see a 
president who is full of compassion and concern about the, uh, the status of the poor people in the country. I'm bringing in all sorts of schemes to support uh, them having a very, very decent livelihood and as well as supporting them to educate their children in the institutions, in public institutions. So basically, these are the uh, framework and the features of the Students' Loan Act.